One of my favorite things to do while I'm working from home is to take some time to look out my window. What do you see out of your window right now? The world outside your window has changed so much over millions of years of the Earth's history. Southern California has seen its fair share of change as seen with the extraordinary fossil record. Paleontologists use fossil clues to best visualize what the ancient past must have been like. Plant and animal fossils can tell us a lot about ancient environments. Let's imagine the room you're in right now as a time machine. With fossil evidence, we can visualize how different the world was in the past compared to the world seen right outside your window. Let's jump back to a period of time known as the Pleistocene. The most recent ice age lasted about 2.8 million years ago to about 11,000 years ago. During this time, North America was covered in massive ice sheets that extended as far down south as Washington on the west coast and as far down south as Indiana and Ohio on the east coast. During the ice age, the world outside your window was different in a number of ways, but also very familiar. What is the weather like outside your window today? Thanks to amazing fossil discoveries made at places like the La Brea Tar Pits, we are able to see what the weather was like. Thankfully, nearly 92% of plant and animal fossils found in the tar pits are still alive somewhere in the world today. By seeing what environments the modern species live in, we can start to see what the environment and climate of the Ice Age was like. Based on fish fossils and freshwater snail shells, scientists are able to discern that SoCal received twice the annual precipitation and certain plant fossils tell us that the temperature was about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than it is today. If you were to look outside your window during the Ice Age, you may see a grassland surrounded by tall trees. In the middle of this grassy field would be a creek running through it. Depending on the time of day, you could probably spot a raccoon or an opossum. In the trees, you may spot a red-tailed hawk or a raven, species that you may see in your own backyard today. Imagine the ground below starts to rumble. Passing by your window would be a Colombian mammoth. It wouldn't be covered in hair like a woolly mammoth, but it would be taller than any elephant alive today. They would graze in the open grasslands while their cousins, the American Mastodon, a much stockier cousin, would browse for food amongst the trees in the forest. On the open grasslands, you would see herds of horse, bison, and even camels. Lumbering on the edge of the forest would be the seven and a half foot tall, knuckle-walking cousin of the modern day tree sloth known as Harland's Ground Sloth. They would use their large claws to grab food from the trees and defend themselves from predators in the area. Some common predators included animals like coyotes, an urban predator still seen in neighborhoods today, but outweighing them were their larger cousins, the dire wolves. These wolves were bigger than modern day wolves, with strong jaws to take down prey and gnaw through bone. Another pack hunting predator commonly seen was the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis. These large cats had curved fangs that were as long as bananas. They were thin and dagger-like and would use them to inflict the killing blow to its prey. One of the largest carnivores seen in this environment was the short-faced bear. It grew up to nearly six feet tall when standing on all fours. It used its great size to bully other predators away from their kills, but it would also forage for plants and berries, making it an omnivore like today's bears. How would you feel if you saw any of these animals outside your window right now? Ice Age fossil discoveries, like those made at the La Brea Tar Pits, can help us visualize SoCal's ancient past, and with a little imagination, we can transport ourselves to this prehistoric time from the comfort of our own room.